Okay, so welcome to the bar and today we're going to make a true classic Bacardi Mojito. So there are a whole load of variations on this drink and you can go into 20 different bars and get 20 different types of mojito, but I'm going to show you the classic way of doing it. So first things first, just move my glass to the side for a bit. You need lime juice, I'm going to take one lime, cut it in half, we want the juice of this whole lime, so just let me cut it there. Now you can use a squeezer at home if that's what you're using, but I'm using this Mexican elbow, which is quite a handy little tool. And just give that a good squeeze. And about, I suppose it ends up being around about 25 mil when you say the juice of one whole line. Uh, but just stick to the one line, don't worry too much about measuring it out. There we go, let's just give that a little bit of a squeeze as well. That's good, and let's just put that to the side. So that's our lime juice, now we're gonna add sugar. Now in a lot of bars we use gom syrup, which is a sugar syrup, and that's great because it means you don't have to worry about it dissolving, but I'm going to use the traditional method here, as I said before, so I'm going to use caster sugar. And the benefit of using caster sugar is this, is that it will give the sweetness that we want, but also because it doesn't completely dissolve, it will also leave a little bit of texture, fine grainy sugar texture on your palate, which is actually rather nice. So I'm putting in two bar spoons of that, which is equivalent to two teaspoons as well. Well, uh, if you like it a bit sweeter, you can add a bit more sugar, but that's sort of fine for me. So we've got the two bar spoons in there. Now, before we go any further, we're going to get our really serious ingredient here, which of course is the mint. And I've got some nice fresh mint leaves here. And depending on the size of the mint leaves, I would say use somewhere between six and eight decent sized mint leaves. Mine are actually a little bit on the small side, so I'm going to go for eight. In fact, I might even go a little bit more. I might use about eight or ten, let's say. You notice that I'm just leaving these sprigs, and there's a reason why I'm doing that, because at the end of the drink, these are gonna play a really important role. So let me get a few more of those mint leaves. That's about fine, so we've got a good handful there. Uh, we wanna release the oils from these mint leaves, so what I'm gonna do is, I can either just crush it in my hand like this, but one of the techniques we tend to use these days is to slap the mint, and that's what I'm gonna do, and by slapping it, I'll release the oils, but what I won't do is I won't break the mint down into small pieces. So here we go. Nice little slap, that's good. And that smells wonderful actually, a real release of those mint oils. Uh, another thing I can do is I can just sort of tear it down the middle. I'm not gonna do it with these ones, but you can tear it, that will also help to release some of that wonderful mint flavor. And I'm just gonna rub it around the inside slightly there and drop it in. So now we've got our lime juice, our sugar and our mint, and I'm just gonna mix those together briefly for a little bit. It's gonna help those mint oils start to infuse with the lime juice and the sugar. Okay, that's good for now. Let's put that to the side. Now I'm going to add some ice, and it's critical that you use either cracked or crushed ice. Whole cubes actually going to sort of ruin the nature of the drink, and uh, it tends to it tends to uh, affect the temperature, and I suppose in a way also it tends to affect the look, and the look is really part of how this drink works. So I'm going to take my crushed ice, and I'm going to fill it up to around about half way, and now I'm going to add the rum. So I'm using Bacardi because Bacardi was used for the original mojito. It's a beautiful white rum, an aged white rum, uh, as we'll have it. And I'm gonna put in around about 50 ml. So there we go. That's nice. That brings it up to around about the level of the ice. And now I'm gonna start to churn it a little bit. And what I'm doing is I'm mixing the sugar. Obviously, I'm starting to help the mint infuse with the rest of the ingredients in the drink and, of course, the lime juice. And we're now getting also a really good temperature in there as well. Now that I've started to get those flavors to combine and come together, I'm gonna to bring the ice up a little bit further. So a little bit more ice. I'm gonna bring it sort of close to the top. That's about fine for now. I'm gonna give it another little churn. So let's get my spoon in there and just maneuver that around a little bit more. Don't worry about those bits of ice jumping out over the bar. It's all part of the game. That's good, let's get this out of the way, let's just put it down there. And now what I'm gonna do is, it, it actually it comes to a crossroads really. Uh, a lot of people like a bit of soda in this drink and uh, for me it's an optional extra. So I could add a splash of soda to bring it up, but actually I don't like soda in mine. You wanna use soda, absolutely fine, you can go either way. I don't like it in mine, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a little bit more rum. Uh, just gives it a little bit more body, so it's probably gonna be around about another 25 mil. So mine has now become a 75 mil Bacardi Mojito. Uh, and it looks like we're, we're done, but we're not quite there. I'm just gonna give this a stir. And then finally what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build up a bit of an ice cap on the drink. So let's lift the ice a bit higher. Bring it up nice and high. That's good. 
and then I'm going to take these sprigs of mint that I had before so I'm just going to break these off about halfway down I'm going to tuck them in the sides of the drink up here this is nice that's good and then finally what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a straw and the idea of the straw is this if I put the straw in amongst the mint let me just tuck it in by the side there that's good if I put that by the mint then what's going to happen is when you drink this you don't only have the flavor of the rum and the sugar and the lime all combined to make this sort of wonderful mojito but as you drink it your nose is right in this fresh mint so you get that wonderful aroma too at this point like I say I could add a little bit of soda and just top it up in fact I'll tell you what I will just add a tiny little splash you might go into a number of bars and see people make about half the drink with the rum and the lime and the sugar and then top it right up with soda but really soda if it's going to be in there just a little splash and for me this is a nice wonderful fragrant delicious and fresh mojito enjoy Bye -bye.